Hey guys, Corporal G here, coming at you from the COC in Kentucky. Today we're going to be painting some German Fossmiker. We got four guys here. And we're going to do the uh, early war scheme. So no camouflage today. Alright, first up is uh, Army Green from Army Painter. We're just going to paint the tunic. It kind of runs all over the torso and a little bit down the legs. This guy has a jacket on, but we're going to keep it simple and paint it all green, just like everyone else. All right, once that's done, we're going to be painting their pants or trousers. We're going to use some London gray again, just like the other early war scheme. Yeah, it's the same color as the primer, but we're just going to knock it out here. And again, you guys don't have to use the, these exact colors. There's a wide variety of colors you can use. Make sure we touch that up and that overspill on that green. Alright, back to the black gray. This is going to be a lot of pieces right here. Or a lot of parts of the guy. First, we're going to start off with the boots. Get those nice and painted up. Make sure you get the bottoms that kind of are exposed. We're going to get their magazine pouches, their belt, and their overalls or webbing. This is their pistol pouch we're going to be painting up to. Oh, and don't forget that canteen cap. And since we're at this step, we're just going to be painting their rifles too. Kind of got lucky today, all four of these guys have submachine guns or heavy weapons. Next step's khaki and flat brown. Only two parts with this. We're going to be painting their canteen cover, which is brown, and that bread bag that's right under the canteen cover. And also whatever this bag's called. Alright, moving on, we're gonna go a little fun here and paint the Panzer Shrek uh, yellow tan. Could have done a green, but I think it's gonna make it pop out more. I think this is a little fun. And Dungeon Gray is gonna be their helmets. Their airborne helmets are more more gray than their green. So we're gonna knock this out real quick. And we're going to have some fun with this piece. We're going to be experimenting a little bit. You guys don't have to do these extra steps. Here's some brass for those bullets. That'll be a nice touch. We're going to be adding a lot of highlights to this one. Or to these guys, I mean. Alright, let's get that non one out and slide this guy up. And I didn't think the uh, the green was green enough, so on the next step you're going to see that we're going to get some military shader, and we're just going to go over the green with that. And the no oil is already dry before this step. Alright, with that out of the way, let's go do some highlighting here. Just some buff and a makeup brush here. Sometimes I get a little too carried away and I gotta wipe the excess with my thumb. But that's no problem. Alright, some oily steel instead of gunmetal this time just to experiment. I get another dry brush dry brush over the gun. Get that dirt all over the place. These guys have been in combat, so they're kind of filthy. Again, just another dry brush, and didn't get too much, so I came back with a fine point and put some more mud on there. Wiped it off with a thumb. All right, 
right, let's go over their skin. Again, we've been using tan flesh. Usually it takes about two coats for me and these little guys. Light gray for some more highlights. And this was a pretty fun step. It's more of an edge highlighting. So we're going to take some paint, wipe off most of the excess, and just get those edges where you think the light will hit. And this will also fix the uh, dry brush you did with buff. And that was pretty fun. Uh, you guys don't have to do this step. But since I'm only doing four at a time, I'm going to start doing some more experiments with this guy, this kind of painting techniques. I'm going to do their helmet real quick with another highlight, same color. Got a little bit too much on there, so going back for a second round here. I found out using the body right there really helps spreading it out. All right, we'll need some sapia shade instead of normal flesh wash. I kind of like this stuff better, to be honest with you. Alright, we're going to go for it. We're going to paint these chin straps. Usually I don't do this at all. This is my first time doing chin straps. But that's about it. It came out pretty good. Thank you. 